one around. I love cooking meat. I'm all about cooking meat. I love cooking meat. I suppose I like the taste of it as much as anything else. And also uh, how um, flexible meat is. You can put all sorts of different things with it. Well, what's your favourite meat? Pork belly. How did you start doing that? The takeaway. Now, how did that evolve? I was my third show, um, and um, the first version was about five years ago, where it kind of combined. Because cooking something I've done a lot of, which is supposed to be quite different, and particularly when you go to the Edinburgh Festival, you're looking for a unique selling point. It's a crowded marketplace, and nobody else seemed to do a show involving live cooking. So that's sort of the, the genesis of it. An audience member will the dish from a takeaway. I'll phone that in and I'll cook something I want from my repertoire. So you're not cooking the same thing that they've ordered? No. Um, I always cook meat and I always cook um, meat or chicken and I always cook a veg, veg dish for vegetarians. Does everyone eat it afterwards? We've got quite enough to go around. Uh, about, definitely about 20, 25 people try it. The whole, well, I suppose, auditorium must be full of the smell of cooking. Yeah. Have you noticed that your audience tend to go for something in particular? It genuinely is different everywhere because a particular member of the audience is asked and everyone's got, obviously got their own taste. So it does genuinely vary all over the place. There appears to be no pattern to it. You pick individual people in the audience to pick a car, so it's, it's very random. And everyone orders what they want when they go to places, so... Um, yeah, I mean, I tend to go, I don't, I won't order in exotic dishes because that's not typical of, uh, just, I mean, I, I tend to go for kind of curries that everyone in the audience will know because it makes it a more meaningful experience. About 15 minutes in, I start cooking. What for you is the most exciting part of your show? Engaging with the audience, actually getting to meet people around the country and meet, you know, and just, you know, sharing stories, it's, it's um, good fun. You know, you get to travel around and see different parts of the UK, which is nice. Does anyone ever cook for you? Um, yeah. My friends cook for me. I'm not really around very much to have dinner to dinner because I work in the evening, so that tends to be the, the limiting factor. What's your favourite, your own personal favourite meal? Probably, um, roast pork belly. Slow cooked overnight. With your pork belly, what types of flavourings? Um, I mean, so much flavour in the pork, really, you don't need to add much more, um, you know, it's sort of, um, I really just like the flavour of the pork, so if it's cooked slowly, it's even more delicious, so, and maybe with a, a little cider sauce, I don't know, some lovely veg, cabbage. Can you remember the first time you ate it? I've eaten it so much in my life, I think mean, they've all become one single memory. I like the crackling. Crackling crackling's the thing, isn't it? Oh my god. But cooking it's so difficult. I think there are many ways of perfecting it, but um yeah, everyone's got their own way of getting crackling, so I've been practicing for a long time. Well, how old were you, would you say, when you started sort of like cooking a lot? Um my teenage years when I started cooking a lot. Thirteen, fourteen. My dad cooked, my mum cooked, my grand cooked, so, you know, I was surrounded with people who cooked, but it just seemed a natural thing to do. We had to learn to cook because uh, my parents often worked, both of them, so one of us brothers had to cook, so it ended up being me. Why was it you? Uh, I don't know. I just seemed the one that was interested in it, the one that could do it. My younger brother was too young, my older brother was too busy, probably. I like eating. I think it's quite simple in that regard. If you like eating, it sort of forces you to cook. Um, and I like experimenting. And, um, yeah, it was good fun. It was good fun being in the kitchen. Well, it's a wonderful thing when you create something in the kitchen, isn't it? Yeah, it is very rewarding. Especially if you share it. Yeah, that's sort of the point, I suppose. It's not so much fun doing it for yourself. It's much more the notion of sharing food. That's what the show's about, is that to us the coming together of people and that sense of community around the table. Because the more I talk to people, the more I get to know them, the more, the more intimate it becomes. All the shows are very emotional for various different reasons. And, um, I'm not sure I could single out one. Well, it's always, you know, it's always deeply uh, significant when, you know, you go back and play your hometown or whatever, or gigs like Leicester and Birmingham, where there is um, a high majority of um, brown people in the audience is always quite, um, there's always a significance to that. Um, but strange shows you would never, you would never expect to be, um, uh, important, become important. 
it sounds like you feel um, emotional towards your audience. Yeah, you know, cause they spend money to come and see me, so I'm kind of <laughs> somehow emotionally connected to them. You know, and it's some, excuse me, it's, you know, it's some, yeah, it's my life I'm talking about, so there's bound to be a degree of investment in that. That indicates to me that your shows are really deeply ensconced in, in your inner, inner persona as well as your outer persona. Yeah, although to be honest, there isn't much difference between inner and outer in that regard. They're both, you know, one is the extension of the other, so I'm not revealing hidden secrets necessarily. I'm just, you know, I'm, yeah. But it is, um, yeah, food's about to part of my life, so I'm telling you stories of my growing up and my relationship with food and cooking for you is quite intimate, yeah. I've done about, I mean, I've, I've done about 300 gigs, so there's maybe about 20, 25 that have been particularly good. What makes them particularly good? Again, if I had the formula, they'd all be really good then, wouldn't they? Um, you know, just certain, certain places, like, you know, kind of like um, Leicester or, um, or Birmingham or Glasgow, where you, you know, there's a connection with the audience. It's great fun, I do love doing it, so, you know, and audiences seem to enjoy it, so I seem to work in that regard. If you could have an ideal evening yourself when you were not performing, what do you think you would choose to do? I'd choose to cook anything involving meat. Are there any particular sounds from cooking that you enjoy? Um, bacon sizzling. <laughs>